We are here for Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane. We are here on a Sunday. Uh, so far, we are about 20 minutes before park opening, and this is the line. It's honestly not too bad. I really thought the line was going to be a lot longer to get in, but it's building. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit longer in a little bit. Since there wasn't that much of a line, we decided we were going to check out the Hershey Park Supply Company. Just go in, wander around for a little bit, check out what kind of new Christmas merchandise they had. They are always switching new merchandise in and out. So some of the Christmas merchandise this year was really cute. They had uh, some really cool sweatshirts, and I really like that plaid right there and some of those hats. But you always need to go in and check it out because there is new merchandise all the time. We ended up hanging out in the store for quite a while because the line wasn't getting long. It was surprising. So we got in line with about five minutes left and the park opened and we got right in. We just got into the park and we are heading to Candemonium because we are going to get on that first while it's kind of warm because it's going to get cold and rainy later. So we don't want to risk having the ride shut down and not being able to ride Candemonium because that is by far our favorite coaster here at Hershey Park. One thing to note, the roller coasters are subject to the temperatures. So if you see the temperatures falling anywhere around the mid 30s, get on them because they will close if the temperatures drop too much. We just got off Candemonium and that ride is amazing. Even in the cold, it is super awesome. Can't say anything better about it. Charlotte, Candemonium, is it one of your favorites? Yeah. It's gotta be, but she has yet to ride Wildcat Revenge. I can't wait to get her a Wildcat Revenge because that one is pretty banging too. There are a lot of other things to enjoy at Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane other than just the rides. There are a lot of cute decorations, a lot of amazing stores. You can go and visit with Santa. There are a lot of sights to take in, so it's not necessarily all based on the rides. All right, so here is a pro tip. If you want the quickest location to get your hot chocolate at Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane, you're gonna come right next door to 1906 Grill. Not in 1906 Grill, but right next door to the Hot Chocolate Express. Now it's not marked, but it is inside there and there's no wait. So you're gonna wanna go in here to the Hot Chocolate Express. It says Peck T365, but that is your Hot Chocolate Express location. Is it yummy? Oh my gosh, I need some. Okay, so another insider tip. You're gonna wanna go on Reese's Cup Fusion early in the day. The longer you wait, the longer the line's gonna be. And this line, later today, is gonna be upwards of one to two hours. Right now, it's already at about a 45 minute wait and the park just opened. So get on Reese's Cup Fusion early. If you want a delicious holiday treat, right next to Reese's Cup Fusion is the funnel cake place. Oh my gosh, their holiday funnel cakes are banging. You're gonna be tempted to get on Skyview early because of the low weight. However, you really wanna wait until the nighttime when it gets nice and dark and the lights come up and Noel is playing. That is when you wanna get on Skyview. Welcome in our new friend. Wow. That's like a personal treat experience. This is fantastic. Whoa. This is awesome. Hey, what's going on? Come on down, come on down. Hey, you're our host, all right. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello. High five for Hershey, high five for Reese. Hey, Reese's and Hershey, this is awesome. Nice to meet you. This is so great. Meeting at Hershey's and Reese's was so much fun. I was there all by myself because it went early, so get to the character experiences early before the crowds really start rolling in. Wow, that was really cool meeting the characters. They were totally awesome, gave me high fives. There was no wait, I walked right in. So we went in the beginning of the day to do the character meet and greet, and to nobody in there on a Sunday. That's unbelievable. This is fantastic. I don't know if it's because they're calling for some rain later, but you gotta pick your days wisely. Here is another pro tip. After you get off Reese's Cup Fusion and see the characters make your way to the back of the park, all the crowds are gonna be up in the front as they're rolling in. You're gonna go to the back where the wait times are gonna be non-existent. As you can see, there's hardly anyone in the back of the park. We were able to walk right on Wildcat's Revenge, which is the newest roller coaster at Hershey Park. We just got off Wildcat Revenge and no wait, it was a great ride. This is my number one or my number two roller coaster here at Hershey Park. Charlotte said she liked it, wasn't one of her favorites, 
I, or, I don't know, is it one of your favorites? Like, where is it ranked? I like it. Do you think it's like top two, top three roller coasters, Hershey Park? Uh, top three. Top three. Top three is pretty good because they got a lot of good coasters here at Hershey Park. All right, the girls are heading to Laugh Track. That is another ride you want to get on early because the line later is going to be insane. Have fun. Meanwhile, the boys are going to head over to Music Express. Normally, I'm all in for the Music Express, but today PJ rode by himself because I was dealing with kind of a migraine headache, if I'm being totally honest. While you're in the back of the park, make sure you take a ride on the iconic Hershey Park Ferris wheel. It is beautiful, the LED lights are awesome, and you get a great view of the park and the Christmas lights. So we're having a great day here at Hershey Park, Christmas Candy Lane. I mean, there has been no waits for anything. We got here right when the park opened, just a few minutes before, and there's been minimal lines. We've been able to get our hot chocolate right away. They're calling for rain later tonight, but so far the day has been great, so we'll see what happens. But so far, we've had a wonderful day, no waits, and yeah, hopefully it continues to be that way for later tonight. This is some good stuff right here. This hot cocoa, it's banging. You gotta get this refillable mug all day, refills included, and you get this awesome Christmas candy lane mug. Totally worth it. Scale of one to 10, how good is that hot chocolate? 9.5. 9.5. You can't beat a 9.5. That is like some near perfect hot chocolate right there. No visit to Christmas Candy Lane is complete without going into Santa's stables and seeing his eight tiny reindeer. Okay, so they're really not too tiny after all, and they are really fun to watch. It's cool getting to see them roam around in their little environment and uh, eating all the hay and stuff. It, it's just really cute. Okay, we are having a really great day so far at Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane. The lines have been null, zero weight so far. The only thing I've really seen a line for is maybe uh, Reese's Cup Fusion. And that's because it was the beginning of the day, everyone just kind of flocked there, which, yeah. Well, so far, let's keep our fingers crossed, but it's been a great day. You can tell that it's starting to get more gloomy. The rain clouds were coming in, it was starting to drizzle a little bit, and we were getting ready to deal with the heavier rainstorms that were coming. But even while it was dreary and a little bit drizzly, we still used that time to get on a lot of rides and attractions that were open. Most of the rides stay open during the rain unless it's a really bad storm. Within the first two hours of the park being open, we were able to walk on pretty much all of the rides and attractions that we wanted, including the ones that are typically really backed up later in the day. Okay, well, quick update. It's about 2.30, and the uh, crowds are starting to come in now. Uh, a lot of the more popular attractions probably have waits around 15 to 20 minutes. The kids just got done waiting in line for Scrambler for about, about 12 minutes, so not horrible, but the, the lines are definitely starting to pick up a little bit. Crowds are getting a little bit heavier, so get here when the park opens. Once those crowds start pouring in, it doesn't mean your day is over. It is just getting started. No trip is complete without a visit to Zoo America. It's a zoo that is included with your price of admission to Hershey Park. It's a wonderful place to visit. It's open during Christmas Candy Lane, and you can see lots of amazing exotic animals up close and personal. We go there on every single trip, and the animals are just beautiful to see. The zoo is attached to Hershey Park, so you don't have to leave the park to get back in. They stamp your hand as you walk across the bridge. You'll find the entrance to Zoo America over by the drop towers. After leaving Zoo America, we went over to the bumper cars and had a great time over there. Again, the waits still were not that long. We waited maybe about five minutes for the bumper cars. Around 4.30, we realized the rain was starting to come in a little bit quicker. It was starting to get heavier. The weather was getting a little bit worse. So we decided to take our ride on the train. The lights were on. We wish it was a little bit darker because you want to wait until nighttime to really appreciate those lights. But it was still a very good time, and we knew we had to get it done because later on, the really bad weather was coming in. Don't let the bad weather deter you, though. There are still a lot of great things to do. We're going to have to hit the chocolate ride. So we took PJ's advice, got in out of the rain, and went and enjoyed a nice, beautiful pretzel over at Chocolate World, and took in the Hershey's Chocolate Tour attraction. 
The Hershey's Chocolate Tour is a completely free attraction. You don't even need a ticket to Hershey Park to enjoy this. You can just roll into Chocolate World anytime you want and take in this awesome ride. It shows you how the chocolate's made and produced and manufactured right there in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The family and I love this attraction. We visit here every single time we go to Hershey Park. It's kind of a nostalgic thing, and we highly recommend that you do as well. After leaving Chocolate World, you could tell here that the weather was in full effect. It was nasty, it was rainy, but the rides and attractions were still open. We went back in because we wanted to see Noel, which is a fantastic light show at the end of the night, and you have to take that in on any trip to Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane. Here are some scenes from Noel for you to enjoy. Noel seriously is a show that you cannot miss in the evening time. It is beautiful. There are so many different angles that you can watch the show from. But as I have said so many times before, the ultimate place to watch Noel is from the Skyview ride. This was the last thing we got on at the end of the night. You could see the view that we had here of the Noel lights. It is fantastic and a great way to end your night at Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane. Well, there you have it. We had a truly Hershey Park happy day. The weather kept the crowds away, but all the rides and stuff were still open. We did everything we wanted to do. Cannot recommend Hershey Park Christmas Candy Lane anymore. Go enjoy it with your family this holiday season. You will not regret it. You will have a great time. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, everybody, aloha.